So I'm heading to the plane now from Singapore to Frankfurt and from Frankfurt I'll be boarding towards Portugal. Really excited to be on this trip and looking forward to seeing all the great people there and making more friends and learning new things. Because today is my first day here, so I think firstly is uh, I, I don't know what to expect yet, uh, how things will go, uh, and and of course that's uh, something that I'm looking forward to, but I'm also uh, very uncertain at this point of time, uh, and and of course uh, not forgetting also uh, because it's a new environment for me, uh, I culturally and and culturally I hope I don't think do anything that is weird. <laughs> How did it happen? So uh, I think uh, around last year, uh, June in 2022, uh, Pedro actually asked me if I'll be uh, interested to go over to Lisbon uh, to do an exchange. Uh, and and uh, of course, when I heard the opportunity, I immediately said, yes, I'm interested. So it's a very, very exciting uh, journey for me. And so far, I think the people has been really nice. Uh, and the buildings here are really gorgeous. And EDP building is really gorgeous too. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> Hi, nice to see you. Welcome. You said you my brotherhood. Are you excited to go over, man? Yes. How are you? Have a nice flight? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a nice flight. Great. Okay. So I'm welcome. sure you enjoy it too. <laughs> so this is the comms. Yes. Here it's the media team and then the status team and then com uh, internal communication team that goes all to that uh, set of tables. It looks good. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Thank you for bringing me around lunch. Yeah, it's you're been welcome. great. I hope you enjoy Singapore too. You, I hope you enjoy and your time. I'm sure the colleagues in Singapore will treat you well. Okay, yeah. Tomorrow I'll fly to around. Okay. 4 p.m. I guess. It's a long flight. Okay, yes, yeah. it's going to be a 19 hour flight, so enjoy yourself. Yeah, we'll try to. It's a, <laughs> it's, a hard, it's a hard one, but yeah, I think it's good. And we'll see you on Teams for yeah. next time. Okay. And we'll get to meet one week in Singapore. Yeah. So I think sure. it'll be fun. Okay. Catch you soon. Right. Let's keep in touch. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Aqui no aeroporto já chegamos a Singapura, muitas horas de viagem e assim que chegamos ainda dentro do aeroporto é este o cenário, dá para ter já uma ideia do que nos espera. One of the first impacts, I think, it's just when I arrive at the Changi Airport um, and we see this big waterfall surrounded by these green walls and it's just like uh, a good first sight of what, what to expect from the city. Uh, other thing is, it's the heat, you know, when you left the airport and it's just like, oh, so hot, so humidity. And for someone that comes from, from the winter in Portugal, it's just like a big shock. No, it's definitely the heat. Okay. No, maybe you both because I've already appeared. The biggest ah, challenge okay. will be uh, to learn the, the cultural difference. Uh, uh, and to try to, to respect uh, those cultural differences and uh, also yeah. learn how to, to communicate, for example, with, with the audience. Uh, there's a different way, a different uh, tone of voice. In Portugal, at least in, in my work floor, there, there's like this big, big noise I'm used to. This is not like completely silence, but it's, it's diff different from, from what I'm used to. In Portugal, people speak louder. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we go, hey, sure. hey, don't forget, we got the meeting at 10 a.m. They scream like from this one to the other one and things like that. Yeah. Everybody walks around, talking. it's different. I think it's something cultural. What surprises me about the office culture, right, is uh, I think once again, it goes back to the people because the buildings is just the building at the end of the day. It's a gorgeous building, but it's the people that makes all the difference. And uh, there's a very warm culture that every time anybody comes in and everybody will just say good morning, bom dia to everyone. And, and, I, and, and it's a very warm culture and they will actually reach out to each other to actually greet each other. And I think that's amazing. So it gives a very warm feeling. My 
first impression in the, the Singapore um, EDP office, I, I think, well, the space is really nice. It's like brand new. The, the company just moved like two months ago uh, and everything is, is really nice. The people also really nice. Everybody's always asking if I need anything. So, so it's been great so far. I think the major project that I will be involved while, while I'm here is to help the, the transition from Sunship to EDPR brand. Um, I think that's the major one. And besides that, I, I can help the, the team uh, like with some platforms and some process that we already use in Portugal that might just simplify their daily routines here. I, I think in my journey here, uh, I am fortunate enough to be part of three different departments. Uh, I'll be with the communication departments, I'll be with the brand department, and after that, I'll be with the sustainability department. So currently, in my current phase, I'm still with the communication department, uh, but I'm already learning so much and really understanding the different structure and understand how they operate and, and, and the different uh, cultural differences, uh, which I think is a very good insight. Uh, to me, the way the organization structure the team and the way the organization uh, divide, uh, assign the, the workload and what they look into, I think that's very uh, interesting. So my expectation is that uh, to be able to see what also the brand team does and especially what the sustainability team does because that is going to be very insightful and going to be very helpful in my work back in APEC for sure. So I had the opportunity to travel to quite a few places in uh, Portugal already. So far, it's only within Portugal. I've been to Sintra, uh, where we visit uh, Castelo de Mores and the Pina Palace. Uh, I've also been to Cascais, uh, where we look at the beautiful beach. Uh, and also went to Peniche, which is a really gorgeous place with a lot of nature. Well, some of the Portuguese words that I've learned, uh, some of the easier greetings like hola, bom dia, uh, I've also learned uh, ciao, uh, and uh, things like uh, com licencia, obrigado, yeah, and of course, to, in order to understand the menu, I've also learned the name of food, like frango, which is chicken, uh, raka, which is beef, and uh, porco, which is pork. <laughs> Yes, in Chinese it's uh, ni hao, which is um, hello, uh, and in, in Singlish, which is kind of like slam English that people talk uh, uh, here, uh, I can say uh, shiok, uh, which means that this food is really tasty, something like that, I think so. <laughs> the city is, is just like really amazing i'm really really enjoying it so far you don't have that claustrophobic feeling when you're in the middle of this huge huge building because you see a lot of trees a lot of green everywhere i think it's really nice uh, when you're just walking around sometimes you can even see that those buildings because there are so many trees and i, I think it's great and one of the things and I think it should be everywhere in the world you can see people from all different countries living together in harmony. And I think that's, that's great how it works here. It, it's, it's how it should work everywhere, yeah. Uh, I went to the, um, to the Marina Bay area, which is really, really nice. I went by night, um, but I missed the, the light show. So I have to, to go back there uh, another time. And I also walked through to the Orchard Road. Uh, well, it's a long walk and it was really hot, but it was, it was really nice, yeah. I think what I, what I miss most, of course, is, is it's my family and, and my two kids. It's hard to be separated from them. So, so far, what we, we're trying to do is when they, they woke up in Portugal uh, and they're taking breakfast, uh, which is around 8, 8 a.m. in Portugal, and it's 4 p.m. here in, in Singapore, we try to, to do this just quick, quick call to, hey, how was everything? I asked them if they did sleep well and yeah, just this quick call to say hello. So besides the, the professional aspects, what attracts me most on this journey is, is to meet this new culture and, and new people, and also uh, travel to the, the Southeast Asia and to go to, this, uh, to all these countries around Singapore. Hey, no 
Norman, how are you, man? Hey, I'm a good man. How are you? Great, great. How's everything in Portugal so far? Good, very good. I'm enjoying the Portuguese lifestyle now. Oh, great. You're becoming how about you? a Portuguese. Oh, everything is great so far in Singapore. Yeah, I've been traveling a lot and trying a lot of food, great food so far. And, and how are you finding the colleagues and office in Singapore? Oh, great. 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 Everybody's really nice and I think everybody's really ready to, to, to join the EDC family. And yeah, I think it's, it's been great. So great. Everybody great. helped me. So yeah, it's been, it's been great. Great. So nice that you're doing well in Singapore. And I think I'm also enjoying Portugal. Everything is beautiful here. I think that's great. Shall we start our meeting? Yeah, let's go. Fantastic. Let's go, man. Share my screen. Okay.